you watched this recording, you've learned how to implement the HTML5 drag and drop API. Today, in order to make another recording to demonstrate a different point, I made this example in which I had a piece of text. This is a span and I'm trying to drag the span and drop it somewhere else and I expect this span to land wherever I drop or release the mouse button. But it isn't dropping. If you look at my code, I have just a span, a reference to the jQuery library, and a custom script. And in the script, I've declared both the drag start event on the span and the drop event on the entire body of the document. In the drag start event handler, I set simply the mouse cursor off the span to something different so there's a visual feedback. In the drop event handler I set it I set the cursor back to the default cursor and I change the left and top coordinates of the span to the current position of the mouse. However the drop event handler isn't even executing. It's not even entering this as you will see if I start to drag the console displays the message drag start but when I drop it it won't display the message drop even though I've written it over here if I set a breakpoint in the drop event handler when I drop the target I see nothing happening here However, if I check the body element in the inspector, it does show a drop event handler of my own coming from this file d satyaish temp blah blah blah. If I click this, it does show me my code that I wrote in the drop event handler, but the drop event handler doesn't execute. So I googled this problem and I saw a bunch of stack overflow threads but I didn't see an answer over there. They were for different scenarios. For example, one was doing it in Silverlight. Another was doing it in ASP.NET Web Forms and the issue had something to do with an ASP.NET Grid. So I set out to investigate what's happening and just from reading the documentation, I could fig I mean, the problem is solved if you simply read the documentation, but I will highlight in this video what the problem is. There are, there's a bunch of problems in this code. So let's take this as the starting code. If you go to drag and drop API on MDN and look for a heading called setting the drop zone or some such, define a drop zone, it tells you by default, the browser prevents anything from happening when dropping something onto most HTML elements. So nothing is going to happen because the browser is preventing it. However, to change this behavior so that an element becomes a drop zone or is droppable, the element must have both on drag over and on drop event handlers. We've already got the on drop which is the same as drop event handler I need another event handler for on drag over so that's one of the problems but not the only problem so let's since the body is the target of the drop I want to define another drag over event handler and I don't need anything big over here so I'll just write a lambda expression that can fit into one line I'll just console log that we are in drag over and even if I do this it will not work I'll show you why let's refresh this page and we have our drag over and I'll still set a reference I'll set a breakpoint here and it won't enter the breakpoint it hasn't entered the breakpoint because every event has a global or default event handler which has some behavior so the default drag over handler 
for the body element prevents anything from happening again. So we need to override that default by saying event.prevent default. I'm telling the browser, please don't do your default thing because your default thing I know over here is to not make anything happen. Now this is not necessary to call on every event handler. You need to check the default behavior for each drop target you're writing. And if that default behavior interferes with what you want, it's only then that you write this. So always run your code and write this line if it is necessary. Now it'll enter the drop event handler. Okay, it still doesn't enter the drop event handler, even if I've written event.prevent default. Let's see why that is. Now there's a couple of problems with this. First thing is the div, well, even before that, the body, if you inspect the body element, okay, the Firefox is not showing me my code at all, even though my code has, my HTML has all this. That's again an error on the part of Firefox. It usually goes away if I close the tab and reopen this in a new tab. Now Firefox is showing me my code. And if I check the body element has my drag over, but it doesn't have the drop event handler. Why is that? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. And there should be a dot here as well. And I think it'll work now. Okay, it isn't working. But if I inspect the body element, it does have my drop event handler now. And it also has a drag over. And if I see the console, I think all of them should be running. Okay, except for the drop, everything is running. Now let's inspect why that is. Let's go to the inspector and check what's the size of the body. Well, the body size is over here in this diagram. It says the body is 688 pixels wide and only 18.3 pixels tall. Now that's what happens when you don't define a body size. You can cross check that by adding a CSS file to the HTML. Let's just add a CSS file to the HTML. And in the CSS file, I will define a background color of light green for the body and a border of one pixel solid green. And to distinguish it from the root HTML element, let's define a different background color for the HTML element, so light blue, and a border of a different color, let's say dark blue. If we refresh the page, we see that the HTML element is, let's inspect how big the HTML element is. The HTML element also has a height of only 533, I'm sorry, 35.8 pixels. So you need to, so that's the extent of the HTML element. And even smaller than that is the body. What you're seeing now, this green area is the region of the body. And so if you try and drop anything, it's outside the regions of the body. So this is one thing you need to take care of. To fix this, go to the CSS. I will remove all these things. In fact, you can check by setting different heights on the body. Let's say I set the body equal to 20% of the document's height and the HTML to have a height of 50% of the document's or the viewport's height. If I refresh the page now, the HTML element just got a little taller and so did the body. This overflow of light blue is again a bug or a quirk of uh, one of those things that the browser implementers did 
long, long before the standards were finalized. So every browser implemented just did something. So this is one of those errors you're seeing. The HTML root element is only till here. So to fix this problem, I will say, please make both the HTML element and the body element have 100% of the height of the viewport. Now, normally when you have a document that has some content, the HTML and body element will keep expanding in height to have to accommodate all that content. So you don't bump into this problem. It's only because I have a single span that I have this problem. But still, whether you have content or not, it's better to just set the height of this to 100% of the viewport. Let me set a background color to see. Okay, they're both big enough. And now our drop event is being called. So just fixing the height or the dimensions of the body and HTML element helped us. That was one of the other problems. Now still, even though it enters the drop event and I see the message in the console for the drop event, nothing's really happening. Why is the span not moving? That's because in order to move, the span needs to have a position of absolute. Currently, it has the default position, which is static. So I need to go to the span element. I need to write a rule set for the span element to set its position to absolute. And I'll just change the font size to a slightly bigger size. Let's say four rems. I'll refresh the page. And now, I'll remove these colors. And zoom back out. And now, our example works just fine. So as a takeaway summary, you want to make sure that the position of the element you are trying to drag is absolute. You want to set the proper dimensions of the body and HTML elements. You want to also have a drag over event handler for the drop target. In addition to, of course, the basic things you would have taken care of, which is setting the draggable attribute on the target item that you're dragging to true defining a drag start event handler for the item you want to drag and defining a drop event handler for the drop target on which you want to drop the event drop the element sorry do you want to become a software developer i'm starting an online course for people like you who want to start a career in software development it's going to be about a month's time until i flesh out and announce the details and the dates until then, please join the mailing list on my website, satyaish.net, to be informed about the details when I announce them. The joys and sorrows of life are only coming because of Parishan. You are contact with the world. In deep sleep or under chloroform, what is your experience? First of all, understand something. If you have no interest in a thought, it has no power. Don't react to them. As they have come, so they will go by themselves.
in the same way. Things in the world outside cannot touch you. It is your relationship with it that gives you joys and sorrows. The theme, if the present interpreter be right, is the great regeneration, the birth of the spiritual from the psychical man, the theme of all mystics in all lands, that the psychical man is the veil and prophecy of the spiritual man. Patanjali has in mind the spiritual man to be born from the psychical. His purpose is to set in order the practical means for the unveiling and regeneration and to indicate the fruit, the glory, and the power of that new birth. Through the sutras of the first book, Patanjali is concerned with the first great problem, the emergence of the spiritual man from the veils and meshes of the psychic nature, the moods and vestures of the mental and emotional man. But somehow they come again and… They will and come because when they come, they get five-star service from you. Yeah, yeah. Meaning that you give attention to it, you contact, you, you, you start to dance with them, you want to play. It's like this for everyone, it's the same. So if you don't give a, uh, interest to them, they, they cannot live. You oxygenate them with your belief, your interest. Oh